Welcome everyone, you may be having an issue where your iPhone is not responding to touch, here is exactly how to fix it. So let's first of all try the force restart. In order to force restart, the process is slightly different. So first, if your iPhone has a physical home button, where you click it, it's a physical click, not a capacitive click. All you need to do to force restart is hold down power and home button together, and then once you see the Apple logo, release both of the buttons. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds. This may take up to 15 seconds to perform. And once we see the Apple logo, release both buttons and this will uh, force restart the iPhone. Now, if you have a capacitive home button device where the home button right here, it doesn't actually click, but it gives you, you know, a vibration feedback. All we need to do instead is hold down power and volume down together and then hold those two down until you see the Apple logo. And then finally, if you have a device which doesn't have a power button, uh, the process is a bit more complex for whatever reason, you know, Apple, shout out to them. So what you need to do, do you need to do this quite quickly? You want to tap volume up, then volume down, and then hold the power button. So you want to do this relatively quickly. So tap up, down, hold, and then hold down the power button until you see the Apple logo. Hopefully, once you go back to the lock screen, you'll be able to interact with the device and the touchscreen issues will be fixed. However, if they aren't fixed, we're going to have to go on to the next troubleshooting step. So the next troubleshooting step is we're going to enter our iPhone into recovery mode and then we're going to update it to the latest software version. So for some reason, maybe, you know, you were messing around with jailbreaking, that glitched out your phone, and so you may need to update to the so uh, latest software, or let's just say some random app just glitched out your device. This is definitely possible. This isn't unreasonable. So, and all you need to do is just update to the latest software version. How do you do this? Well, the first step is we need to enter recovery mode. The main reason why is because most likely, if your device isn't responding to touch, when you just plug in your device to the computer regularly, it's not gonna give you the option to enter in your passcode, right, to a trusty connection. So instead, we need to enter recovery remote. How do we do this? Well, first of all, you need to plug in your device to the computer. If you have a Windows computer, make sure to download iTunes. Just go into Google, search up iTunes download. It's a software by Apple. Download it. And once you have your device plugged into the computer, very important, you have that first. You just want to, on the capacitive home button device, where there's a physical click here, you just want to hold down the power and home button together. And once you see the Apple logo, I want you to release the power button, but keep on holding the ho uh, home button. Now, if you are not plugged into the computer, this will not work. So it's not gonna work for me because again, I'm not plugged into the computer, but instead of being brought to the home screen, you're gonna see a TV uh, a monitor and a USB cable. That means you did it successfully. Now, we're just going to wait for this to do its thing. Of course, it's not going to work because, again, I'm not plugged into the computer. Now, if you have a capacitive home button device, you want to hold down power and volume down together. And once you see the Apple logo, you just need to release the power button, but keep on holding the volume down button. So we'll just give it a little bit. And we just want to wait until we see that Apple logo right here. And then you just release the power button, keep on holding volume down. If you release the volume down by accident, just try again. And then with the uh, non-home button device, you just want to follow the same steps. So tap up, down, and then hold power button. You need to do that relatively quickly. And then keep on holding the power button until you see the uh, uh, the uh, power connection screen, uh, the recovery mode. So once you've done that inside of iTunes or on Mac OS inside the Finder application, you will have the option to update the latest version of iOS. Attempt that. And if that works, well, you're good to go. Uh, you're going to be on the latest iOS firmware. No issues there. If that doesn't work, then do the same process again to get into recovery mode. But this time, factory reset your iPhone. Try that. And if that do uh, still doesn't work, that means the issue is with the hardware of the device and not the software. So if the issue is with the hardware, don't worry. It's not the end of the world because, well, we can still fix it. So here's the deal, right? Here's what's up. You're going to have to contact Apple support and we're going to have to contact them explain the situation, and then they should solve the issue. So Apple support, in order to contact them, you will need another device, and you just go to the App Store, and then you download the Apple support app, and then it'll bring you to an iMessage view, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you don't have another device to contact Apple with, you can just search up contact Apple, and then you will find their phone number, phone them up, explain the situation, you'll be good to go, or you can go to an Apple store directly and talk to them, and then they'll help you out as well. Now here's the deal, right? Some iPhones will have a repair program. So if you have iPhone 11, there is, the, the display sometimes just stops working. So if you have an iPhone 11, you can use a repair program to get repair for free, regardless of when you bought the device. However, don't get fooled by Apple, right? 
Even though your iPhone has one year limited warranty, depending on consumer law, you may have up to five years warranty, which we're legally entitled to. So how do we check that? So just search up consumer law, Apple, so just search consumer law, Apple right here, and it should bring you to a page which will tell you the exact warranty you are entitled to. So I'm just going to go down here, agree, and you just want to find the uh, top page result. And essentially, this will go through every single country and the consumer law you are allowed. So uh, if we just scroll down here, you can see consumer laws in United Kingdom. And look at this. England and Wales, six years from delivery. Scotland, five years from delivery. What does this mean? Well, all it means is you are entitled, in the UK at least, to have your warranty done up to six years after the delivery date of your iPhone. Now, by default, Apple are not going to, you know, go on to this uh, uh, warranty option because they want you to pay for out of warranty. So if you're going through the process and then Apple says, oh, we're going to put a charge on your card, say, I want to invoke my consumer law rights. They will escalate your claim because I've actually done this before. They'll escalate, uh, escalate your claim. You have to go through the phone. They, they will ask you for an invoice for your iPhone, provide that invoice. And then even if your device is out of warranty, they will legally, because they are legally required to, they will replace the screen and the issue will be solved now of course you do have apple's regular limited warranty and uh, another thing to note is consumer law doesn't apply to every country if you're in the european union you have consumer law uk you have consumer law i'm not sure about the us and other countries as well so it's always best to look up consumer law your country and they'll give you all the relevant information you need to know so really that's all there is to it you'll just need to contact apple get them to solve they may charge you money Let's say you intentionally broke the phone or something like that, something crazy like that. Uh, or let's say uh, you didn't buy this phone new and you bought it used, then consumer law doesn't apply. So it's one of those things. If Apple charges you money, you need to think, is the display repair worth it? Or is just buying a brand new iPhone worth it? That is something you need to decide. So I think I've covered everything here. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.